Hey, it's MK, and I am here with Shannon Blinn, helping her celebrate her 1,000 subscriber milestone. This is the layout that I will be lifting from her. She is scrapping with Shannon here on YouTube. I'm also playing along with Off the Board, and I picked out this color combination because I felt like it went really well with my Kit Conspiracy, but added in a little bit more of those purple tones. So I'm going to try to bring those in as well. So again, I made a little cluster so I can share with you guys um, the sketch that I, or the layout that I planned on using from Shannon, that it's for her one K miles um, subscriber milestone and then of course the color combination so what I have here is three photos of the X canal where we chose to um, do our celebration of life and I really took a picture of the caravan that we took over to the area and then of course the gorgeous flowing river that is there which they actually call it an X canal I also have a couple pieces of the stickers and the cut apart cards and all that good stuff. And then I threw in some of these leaves um, that are just clear sticker leaves um, that I have been uh, getting in kits and stuff like that and really exploring with them. I, I, I don't really know when they became a thing, but I have them. So I pulled out this gorgeous blue navy dark black paper. I just love this gorgeous plaid. You knew me. I knew I was going to do the plaid. And then this beautiful green that has the wallpaper look on the other side. And of course, I'm going to put everything down on a uh, off-white piece of paper. I didn't really want to go with stark white, um, so I'm going to go with off-white. So I'm going to bring in this red paper left over from yesterday's layout. And I'm going to try to um, map my photos, but I wanted to look for scraps first before I went and pulled out that big that big sheet. Um, I knew I was starting to collect some scraps from the last two layouts, and so I, fa I found uh, two scraps that work really well. One is a cut apart card. Well, they're actually all cut apart cards because the other side was cut aparts, um, but I didn't really use the, the six by four cut apart card, and I'm not even gonna look to see what's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not. Um, I, I feel like I've already cut out the cut aparts. And so if I'm going to use them, they're right there for me to use them. So the hardest part here is deciding how wide I wanted my pieces to go. And I think I went with four inches. Um, I don't really know because my trimmer is up too high, but I think I went with four inch strips for each one of these. And then later on, I decide that the blue uh, strip does not need to be four inches because it's mostly covered by all the other strips. So I do end up um, saving a little bit of that one and uh, ripping it off. Now it's just deciding which way I want them to go. Shannon has them fanning out into the right side of the page. I preferred them to fan out over to the to, to the left, but I guess depending on which way you look at it, they're still fanned out to the right. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking there, but Shannon has her bottom piece fanned out to the right, and I decided I want my bottom piece to the left. I don't know why, but that just seemed more cohesive for what I wanted to do. All right, so I pulled out these two alphas, and I'm going to create my title. It just says the perfect spot to say goodbye, um, and that was my title using the two, and I brought in that blue because of the blue that is in the uh, my off the board. They have this very subtle blue that they picked up from uh, the succulents that are in their picture. And so I thought, oh, I really do like that blue. It's in my, it's in my photos. And so I think that that blue will help bring out um, and, and draw your eye over to the photos. So now I'm just trying to figure out how, uh, how tall I want all of these strips and, and whatnot and get them. Um, I do end up, uh, roughing up the edges just because of the fact that, again, we are outdoors. So I feel like that helps me tell my story by having everything not so perfect um, because that's how the outdoors is. The out, the, the trees don't grow perfectly. The, the um, bushes are all spiky everywhere. And I feel like this really helps um, give that feel of being outdoors, even though I'm not using an outdoor collection, which I guess I am. A garden collection is outdoor collection. I didn't think of it that way. Um, but yes, I definitely, um, I definitely like, plus I like seeing the whites, you guys. I really, I don't know. I'm drawn to having everything distressed, really. 
All right, so now that I've got my main elements, I wanted to see if this mauve color, which is sang uh, sangria, I think is what it's called from close to my heart. Um, I wanted to see if it worked out really well and was a good match as well as that purpley match that I'm looking for from my off the board color palette. And it is, oh my gosh. I have never used this color before. To, I, I am sorry to say, and I am ashamed to say, I pulled the packaging off of this ink pad just for this series. Yep, I, I, I'm one of those. I bought it because I thought that I needed the whole collection and I never opened it. Yep, that's how actually most of my ink pads are. I, I'm drawn more towards my Tim Holtz ink pads rather than any other ink pad. And so when I was a close to my heart consultant, which I still am for a couple more days, um, when being the close to my heart consultant, you feel like you need all those things. So that way, when somebody asks you a question about them, you can answer it honestly and, and have the elements right in front of you, right? And that's how I, that's how I was. And in the end, it ended up, I don't, I don't need to do that. I really don't. Plus, I didn't like the fact that they constantly were changing their colors. Like, why weren't you happy with brown paper bag? Like, and then you bring it back and call it nutmeg. Um, I don't understand. Why couldn't you just create a new sticker for us and rename it? I don't know. Anyways, that was my outlook on that ink situation going on. But this color was gorgeous. And I don't think I could find a Tim Holtz color that matched. Look at how beautiful it matches that happy place sticker and oh my stars. So for this, I'm trying to follow along with Shannon's clusters. She has a cluster up on high up on the right side and then down low, almost like going into a diagonal um, over on, well, I'm sorry, high up on the left side and then diagonally going down over on the, on the uh, right side. And for me, it wasn't working. I, I, my photos and the way that I placed my photos down didn't leave me any spots for a high up right. So I decided to do it just straight across and bring my title high up. Um, and I really do like, love, I love building titles with multiple different alphas and whatnot. You guys, this, I don't know why I do this. Uh, I don't do this all the time, but this is one of my favorite things. And the reason I got into thickers, in all honesty, is because I love building titles like this. And I think one of the reasons why I got out of building titles like this is because of the fact that um, <laughs> I'm not very creative when it comes to coming up with titles. There, I said it. That's what it is. All right, so for all of these... Uh, stickers that I have, they are, they have that big, big border. I don't understand the big border. So I trimmed them all off, off camera. Well, it was on camera, but I cut it all out. Um, and then I'm just going to have them sticking out. I love how they look. I love the addition that they bring in. They bring in um, the greens from my inspiration uh, color palette and um, bring in more green than the the green piece of paper. I just feel like it brings in a lot more colorful greens and it also lets the title piece blend in a little bit better as well. So I, I'm super stoked with um, using these. I just, I, it just disappoints me about how big that border thinks it needs to be. Yep, that's the only thing. Um, honestly, if they weren't shiny, I probably would leave the border on there because it's clear and you can't see it, but they're shiny. And if I want somebody to see the shininess, I would want it to only see the print rather than the print and this big old shiny border around it. So that's my only deal. All right, I'm going to take these floral hearts uh, and I just felt like they were the perfect color, again, matching that color palette beautifully um, from off the board. I, I just, I struggle with regal tones, you guys. And that's why one of those color palettes is on my Pinterest board um, is because I do struggle with using these regals. I just really feel like my photos are either too bright, too cheery, too colorful, and regal colors are, I don't know. I, I'm i am not really sure. They're, they're deep, dark colors and I'm not, I don't know, you guys, I, I shy away from them, but here it is, and it is my favorite layout for the entire week, I'm not going to lie. So Shannon, I really had a blast playing with your layout. It was fabulous to uh, lift. I, I, I just, I, 
Yes, I loved it. So congratulations on hitting 1,000 subscribers. That is a huge milestone. I'm so proud of you. And I look forward to many more. I really, really do. Congratulations. Um, also, too, I have links down below for everyone that is playing along with Off the Board. And I have a, a, a Facebook link for Kit Conspiracy. And of course, as always, I tag Janet Fritz over here so you guys can just click on her channel link and uh, go check out what she is doing for her uh, kit conspiracy. So anyways, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, truly appreciate it when you show up every day and uh, I will check you guys all later. Bye. Bye.